Hey there, today we are back for the next part of the Build the Keyword Challenge. In the previous video, we worked on the landing page and today we are going to work on the product. So this is the landing page from last time. We are working on an app that allows people to create challenge and then share it with the, the member of their team. And the idea is to boost the, the member engagement. So the, the question that I had to ask myself were how do we onboard people so that they see the value of the app, but without having too much friction to begin with. And so I worked on some flows and I tried to really understand like wh what it is that I, I really want to have for my MVP. And uh, I've yeah kind of split it between logged up there and logged in. And what I really wanted to have is that the, the challenge creator, they can, um, right from the bat, they can create a challenge, they can look at it, they can share it, and then from there, I, I would want them to sign up. And for someone who would join the, the challenge, they would just like click a link, see the challenge, enter the score, and then they can sign up. And if you look at the kind of the login part, it's pretty straightforward you, you you can create a challenge and see it uh, if you're logged in it's just really easy to to join the challenge click the link you see the challenge you enter your score and then you can also update so this is like what i restricted myself to do for this mvp and i asked myself like a few questions regarding like the the database what what the things that i i need to have and try to see like in bubble what type of data that would be so for the challenge i wanted to have type uh, the exercise the rep if they are and and then uh, give it a name and start date and date and then a list of score and for the scores there will be first name last name reps and all of this and so then i, I yeah I, I checked on dribble i wanted to have like an idea of something that would be cool for, for a challenge. And I, I found this um, this UI and what I liked about it is that there was like a, a countdown and kind of like first, second and third, but sadly like the first, second and third didn't really make it to my MVP. And so, yeah, I designed like this pop-up where you would create the challenge. I would pick the parameters and then when you create it, it would look something like this. Initially, I had the side, like a side nav, but at the end of the day, I decided to just put the navigation on the top because I didn't have that many items. And so, yeah, one, two, three, ch charge the challenge. And then this is kind of the empty state. And if there were people like joining, it would look more like something like this. And I think, yeah. And so if, if you, if you join the challenge and you enter your score, it would just be something pretty simple like this where you enter your score and then you, you submit. What else do I have? Yeah. And then you would have like another screen where you can see all of your challenges that, that you have joined and by clicking on it, you come back to the, the previous one. All right, so let's start from our landing page and see what we can get from it. So by clicking on our CTA, we get this pop-up where you can create a challenge. And let's say we create a challenge where you you must do 100 push-ups and you need to do it for time. And let's say the challenge starts tomorrow and it lasts something like a week. Click on create. And now I am taken, taken within the app. I can see a countdown on the challenge. I can see what this is, its name. And for now, there is no participant. So. What I want to do as a gym owner is to be able to share that challenge to someone. So this is what we are going to try. Let's say I click on it and I'm going to check it as someone else uh, with another like another profile. Now I can enter my score and this is not like really modular yet, but yeah, I, I wanted to make like a, a simple version. And so I am logged in like as a member here and on the other side, I, I am logged in as, as like the owner of the gym. So let's say I go back to the other side and as a owner of the gym, I want to create the account so that I don't lose my challenge. So I'm going to click here 
And let's say we do, ideally we would want to go back to sign up directly, but uh, let's say I do this and I want to sign up with Google. I'm going to pick my email and then, okay, so we're in and we can see that in my challenges, I have the one that I just created. If I click, click on it, I get back here and I can see the, the score that was entered on, on the other side. Uh, we can also see my picture here and, and my name. Just to make sure that it worked, I'm going to log out and log back in and to see if all of this is working properly. So if I log in, log in with Google, come back here. And yeah, I still have my challenge. I still have this thing here. And I should also be able to update the challenge if I want to. Yeah. This is, and I guess it should say save here. One more thing to do later on. Okay. And now if I go back to the other side and let's say I want to update. Yeah. So this is working fine. And say I create an account here as well. I really need to do sign up on that side. I will do this one. Nope. And now we can see that I don't have my own challenges, but I have challenges I participate to and I can go back here. So yeah, that, that is kind of it for this MVP. In the, the next step, because the challenge ends on, on Wednesday, I'm going to be working on some SEO. I also had like a really good idea from a friend about the app and what it could do. Um, the idea would be to create challenges, but more like group challenges where everyone in the gym need to participate to, to reach like a big ceiling. And maybe, you know, it's, it's limited by participants that everyone needs to, to do it um, and in order to reach it as a, as a group. But yeah, this is something I, I didn't want to take more time than I already did. Um, maybe I'll do it later. That's it for today. Have a good one and see you for the, the next one. Bye.